In 2022, I guess it's been a very uh, challenging uh, year, but also in aspects of that we've been uh, relegated to MPL2. Um, but at the same time, it's been an opportunity for us to regroup. It's been an opportunity for us to clearly understand who we are and who we want to be uh, and become un more united than I think we've ever been. Um, obviously, uh, we held off on the appointment of a senior coach and that was a strategic uh, plan because of the basis that we, uh, because of the knowledge we had around some of the coaches who would become available. And for me, it was all about making sure that we get the right people in place for the longevity of success. Um, I was focused on making sure that we're not assessed on what happens in 12 months time, but what happens in three or four years, or even five years, and to ensure that we have continued success. And I certainly believe that the board and the committee and the football um, staff are all driving in the same direction. And that's all we can ask for. Um, in the youth space, I believe we've been uh, extremely um, proactive in developing a clear vision and philosophy and an identity of how we develop our players at Dandong City Soccer Club, which has been certainly uh, positive for the club. And it's been seen by the amount of players that have wanted to uh, join the club in 2023. Uh, so from a youth perspective, we're very happy um, Mini Roos, I'm also very happy with the progress we've made, um, but none of this vision can come to la life without the right people. Um, so it's been a huge, um, huge benefit to get good people on board uh, and the team that supports uh, myself and the club vision uh, behind the scenes um, are the essence to be able to go forwards. So I'm, I'm very proud of, of the steps we have taken, despite the fact we have gone backwards in our new senior space in aspects of the league that we're competing in. But hopefully with years to come, um, you know, the foundations will be set to ensure that uh, we have continued success.